Well, this is a big moment. I'm wearing a shirt and tie. And I'm wearing a shirt and tie because apparently this is what people with real jobs wear to work. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Commuting to work chain reaction cycle style. Scaling one of the icons of the Tour de France, the Alpe d'Huez in the French Alps. This is the world's toughest commute. It's warm, lads. It's cheating. It's not. This is definitely the toughest commute I've ever done. It's relentless. It's absolutely relentless. E-bikes are revolutionizing the commute around the world. They're so popular that last year they even outsold regular bikes in the Netherlands. The pedal assist feature of an e-bike reduces the effort needed for pedaling, so no more sweaty shirts when you arrive at the office. It also means you can go further, faster, and that's why more people are turning to this technology. So how much further can you really go? Can you get through a tough commute without breaking a sweat? Well, we're going to find out. This city e-bike, the Cube Touring Hybrid Pro 500, is about to undergo the toughest commute it'll ever face, climbing Alpe d'Huez. The average commute is around 10 miles and takes about 50 minutes. So I'm going to put this Cube to the test. My shift starts in an hour and I'm going to try and cover the 14K of climbing in that time. I've got everything a commute they'll be wearing, my shirt and tie, packed lunch, my little briefcase, and this. I don't even know what this is. If a city e-bike can handle this, it can handle anything. Let's crack on. Here we go then. Alp d'Huez, the world famous Alp d'Huez. And I'm gonna get to the top in time for the start of work. Eco Tour Sport Turbo. I think turbo is probably the best way to go. Spin the gears, let the motor do all the work. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Corner 21. And now it's a countdown to the top of this iconic climb. Jesus Christ! Low load, I don't give a f about your bikes either. Got a feeling this hill's gonna kick up around the corner. Hell, he calls it a hill. One of the legends of the Tour de France. Cycling, cycling history. He calls it a hill. Understatement warning. Tell you what, the one saving grace about this, it's decent, uh, the road's in decent conditions. I think because they have so many races and rides on it, keep it in fairly good nick. So I've put the uh, suspension on lockout on the fork. Not necessarily going uphill. And not necessarily because there aren't any potholes either. Unless you go on to something like that. Okay, corner 11. 10 to go. Oh, I could take him, I could try and take him. <clears throat> Still happening. Okay, four bars left, still in turbo. This is definitely the toughest commute I've ever done. However, that's the disadvantage downside. Look at the plus, look at the positives, look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. Last year, almost a million Germans bought an e-bike, but it's China and the US where sales are really surging. The American e-bike market grew 78% last year. 78%! And over 60 million will be sold in China over the next 12 months. That's 4,000 every day. Even the UK is catching on, having just included e-bikes in its cycle to work scheme. Around the world, commuting with an e-bike will soon be the new normal. 
this is gorgeous just absolute silence apart from the crickets the stream and then the odd car to go the relentless spinning to keep this vehicle going you know what I'm sweating but not disgustingly I can still talk fairly coherently you know what these things they could open up a world of freedom, I guess, to loads of people. I am pretty much, what, three or four corners away from getting to the summit of Alpe d'Huez, in a shirt and tie, with work trousers on. So, like, if you were thinking of that five, ten, 15 mile commute is a bit too much you know you're too unfit or you don't want to turn up to work or college or wherever in a, in a mess I'm telling you these things could open up a whole world for you so half do as is now in sight sweat counts probably at a what six Five, six, I reckon. Not too bad. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a killer. This bike has done an absolutely stellar job. How long have we been going for? Let's take a look. I think there's two more corners to go. 45 minutes, 15 minutes to get to work. Let's see what the next few corners hold. Hopefully the cube will see me through. Oh, not just the cube, obviously. It's my legs as well. It's pretty bonkers to think that this is the actual pace of the pros. Just shows you the, uh, the gulf between weekend warriors, club riders, and the, the elite. Boom. Corner one, there it is. Head to the Alps office now. Sign in. And that's me. What an absolutely awesome commute that was. As you can tell, not fully out of breath. A wonderful shirt and tie is still on and my, my work trousers. Just need to tuck my shirt in, tidy my tie up a bit. We're good to go for the day. The only question is now, what other road climbs should I take this e-bike on? What a climb. There we go, that's 50 minutes. Done. I'm amazed at how well this e-bike has performed. I know there's still a lot of people left to convince, but surely less cars on the road is a good thing for everybody. They reckon the electric car is going to be a revolution, but I think if change is going to come, it's going to be because of one of these, an electric bike.